Drawing this Mickey Mouse is easier than you think and I'm going to show you step by step how you can do it even if you're a beginner in digital art. Before you start drawing, make sure to download the color palette and the free staple brush that are linked in the description of this video. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to draw more of me, check out my Patreon where I have more step by step tutorials like this and many Procreate brushes, link is in the description. And with all that being said, grab your drawing tools and let's start. Let's make a new canvas, A4 canvas from Procreate. And first we are going to do the sketch. So for this we can take any color. Let's take something gray. And let's pick the brush. Let's go to sketching. And let's take 6B pencil. Let's make the brush size 50. And let's first draw the big circle for the background. So draw a circle, hold your pencil on screen and now put your finger here to make this a perfect circle. Let's use the arrow tool to move this to the middle of the canvas. So here at the bottom I have uniform option selected and snapping turned on. So now I can just move it and it will snap to the middle of the canvas. Like this. Let's tap here to finish. And now we are going to draw the Mickey on a new layer. So let's make the layer. And again let's draw a circle here. Make it smaller. Put your finger here. About this size will be okay. Let's move it also to the middle of the canvas. So let's take the arrow tool. And let's move it so it will snap to the middle line here. Let's put it somewhere over here. Maybe I'll make it a little bit smaller. By the way, if you want, you can download my sketch. It is attached together with a color palette, so you can just use it as a guide or just use it as a sketch. Let's tap here to finish. Now let's draw a line here somewhere about one third of this circle. Maybe a little bit less than one third. Let's draw also a line in the middle. And let's draw here an ellipse for the nose. You can tap here and now you can move this. Tap with your finger on the screen to finish this. Now everything else that we'll be drawing here will be symmetrical, so let's turn on the symmetry tool. For this let's go to the actions menu. Go to canvas. Turn on drawing guide. And then tap on edit drawing guide. At the bottom let's pick symmetry and in the option make sure you have vertical selected. Let's tap on done. And now I see that my nose is not perfectly in the middle here. I will just take the selection tool. With the freehand option selected here and color field turned off. I can select it and now I can use the arrow tool to move it so it's more in the middle here like this. Okay. Now let's draw the Mickey's mouthpiece. So it will start above the nose. Let's outline the shape of this, like that. And now we have to draw here kind of like an ellipse shape for his cheek, going outside of the circle. Like that. And then let's draw here his chin. Like that. And we can draw the smile. So start somewhere a little bit higher than the middle of this line. So I'll start over here. Let's draw an arc here like that. Now here. And then let's make it a mouth. So draw an arc like this. Now I'm just going to fix this line here. I'll make it connect smoother with this cheek part, like that. Okay. And we can draw here now two ellipses for his eyes place. So let's start in the middle. And draw a shape like that. I'll make it maybe still a bit bigger. Like that. I think this is okay. And here. I'm going to draw the eyes. 
So again, we'll draw an ellipse shape like that. And a smaller one here at the bottom part. Now let's draw here his body. So for this we'll just draw a line here like that. We can draw his fingers. So three ellipses. One, two, three. Like that. And now we still have to draw his ears. So let's draw a circle here. Put your finger on the screen, hold your pencil here, and now let's use this to place it in the proper place. So it should be somewhere over here, I would say. Like this. Tap with your finger on the screen to finish this. And now I will just fix the shape of the cheek still. I'll make it go higher here a little bit, like this, and here like that. Now to draw the tongue, I'm going to turn off the drawing assist. So I'll go here, tap on this layer, and turn off the drawing assist. So now I can draw the tongue without the symmetry, just like that. And now I'll still fix it a little bit. I will move his head down a little bit. So I'll take the selection tool. With the freehand option, I'm going to select the head, all of it with the ears. And now I can take the arrow tool to move this down a little bit, over here, like that. And I want to make his hands actually a little bit bigger. So I'll just draw here like this. The sketch is finished. We can open the layers. We can merge those two layers together, like that. And we can name this sketch. So let's tap here and pick rename. And we can change the blending mode here to multiply. And turn down the opacity here. I'll make it 37%. Now let's make a new layer and put it under the sketch layer. So we can start drawing here shapes of his face. Let's pick the color. I will start with this one. And let's pick the brush. Let's go here to calligraphy and take monoline brush. Let's make the brush size small here. Let's take 4%. And here I want to outline this using the symmetry tool. So for this we can just turn on the symmetry on this layer. Let's tap on it and pick here drawing assist. Now we can outline this. We want to have this part behind his eyes on a separate layer from this mouthpiece. So I'm just going to close this shape here now like this and I will color this. Let's make a new layer for that mouthpiece. For a moment I'm going to turn off this layer we were just drawing on so I can see better what I'll be drawing. And let's outline his mouth here. We also have to turn on his drawing assist. We'll be using the drawing assist basically on all of the layers, almost. So we should remember to turn it on. Okay, let's color this. We can bring back that other layer now. And let's make a new layer for his head and his body. Let's put this layer under those face layers here. Let's pick the color, take this one, the black one, almost black, and again let's turn on the drawing assist here, and let's outline here his body, like that. Let's draw a closed shape, so we can color this inside. Now to draw the circle for his head we can turn off the drawing assist. Let's draw the circle. We can move this now, so it will be in a proper place. 
OK. And let's color this inside. Let's make a new layer for his ears. Let's move this layer under the head. Let's turn on here also drawing assist. And draw a circle here. And we can move it to the proper place. OK. And let's color this inside. Now let's make a new layer for his hands. Let's move this on top of his body. Turn on the drawing assist. And change the color. For the hands, we'll take this one. This color is quite white, so it will be hard to draw here with the white background. Let's change the background color for a second. Let's take any color. Let's also turn off the layer of the body for a second. And now we can draw the hands easily. We are going to draw finger by finger on each separate layer. It will be easier then later to color them. So let's make a new layer now for the second finger. Turn on a drawing assist. And draw it. Color this. And now one more layer. Let's set it to drawing assist. And draw the third finger. Let's color this. And now we can bring back our normal background. Let's change it back to white. And let's bring back the body. Now let's draw the eyes. So let's make a new layer above this layer for the background for the eyes. Let's change the color here. For the eyes we'll take this one. Let's also don't forget to set this one to drawing assist. Let's draw here an ellipse. Let's color this. And now we can make a new layer on top of this for the iris. Set it to drawing assist. Let's pick the color. Take this one, the black one, let's call it black. And draw here a smaller ellipse. Let's color this inside. I will maybe actually move it up a little bit. And now we still have the nose and the mouth. So let's make a new layer for the nose. And this layer should be above that mouthpiece here. We'll take the same color that we have now. And here we don't need the drawing assist. To make this horizontal we can put our finger here. Let's color this inside. And now let's use the arrow tool to make sure it is in the middle. OK. Now let's make one more layer for the mouth. Let's turn on heat drawing assist. And let's outline this. Like that. Now here. And the smile. Let's color this inside. And let's make one more last layer here for his tongue. Let's turn off this mouthpiece for a second so we can see what we'll be drawing here. Let's take the color. Take this one. And let's draw this. We can draw it bigger because we're going to clip it to the mouth. So now let's bring back the mouthpiece. 
and let's set the layer of the tongue to clipping mask. Let's do one more layer for the background, for that circle in the background. Let's go all the way to the bottom, make a new layer here, and move this layer to the bottom, so it will be above the background. Let's pick the color, take this red one, and let's draw that circle. I'll take the arrow tool to make sure that it's in the middle of the canvas. Let's tap here to finish and let's color this inside. Now we can turn off the sketch layer and we can start adding here some more colors, some shading and light. Let's start here with his ears. So let's tap on a layer of them and make a new layer above it. We want this to be visible only on the area of the ears, so we have to set this to clipping mask. We also want to set this to drawing assist. And let's pick our first color here. We'll take this dark purple one here. Let's take our stipple brush here. So let's go to Shakula Freebies. And here is the brush. Blob stipple free. Let's make the brush size here 20%. We can mark this brush size so we'll have it for later. So tap here. And now you can tap here on the plus to add this. And let's draw now some shading in his ear. Over here, like this. And now a little bit here on this edge. Let's make this brighter now by adding different color here. Take this purple one. Let's add this closer to the middle of the ear, like this. And more here at the edge. Now we are going to erase here those dots right at the edge. Let's take the eraser. Let's tap on it. And let's set it to soft brush. Let's make it quite small. Maybe 2%. I'm going also at this size here. And now we can just erase this here by the edge, like that. And also over here. Let's add here some more color on the new layer. So let's make the layer. Set it to Clipping Mask and turn on Drawing Assist. Let's change the color now. We can take here now this dark blue one. Let's add it here more in the middle, like that. And now let's take another color. This blue one. And still add it more here on the left side. Like that. We can still add here some highlight. Let's take different color. Take this one. And here I'm going to make this brush smaller. I'll take it all the way to the bottom, 1%. And I'll just add it here. Like that. Now let's take the eraser. Let's make it bigger here for this, 6%. And let's erase this here a little bit like this. And the ears are finished. Now let's take a small break and I would like to ask you to write the comment with the word mouse. Your comment will mean a lot to me, it will show me that you enjoyed this video and I would be very happy to see who is watching me. So thank you for writing the comment. And now let's go back to drawing. Let's add the color now to his head. So let's go to the layer of it. This one. And make a new layer above it. Set it to clipping mask. Set it to drawing assist. And let's change the color. 
Let's start with that purple one too. Let's make your brush size 20. And we'll add it here on the right side of this, on the right side of his head. Like that, take it to the top. Like this. Let's add here now that light purple color. This one. Add it here more in the middle, like that. And let's take the eraser now and erase this. And let's erase it here by the edge of his head, on the right side. And now here by the eye part. Let's erase it like that. Now let's make a new layer to add here more color. And let's set it to Drawing Assist and also Clipping Mask. Let's change the color. Take this blue one and let's add it here by his eye and on top. Now let's erase it. Let's erase it again here from the right side of the head and the top here and by the eye. So like this. Let's make a new layer now here for that lighter blue color. Let's set it to Drawing Assist. Set it to Clipping Mask. And change the color to this one. I'll make your brush size small, 1%. And I will add it very lightly here. And also on top of his head. Now I'm going to erase this. So again, here by the eye I'll erase it. I just want this to be kind of like a highlight here. So I'll make it smaller. Okay. Now let's add some colors to his nose. So let's go to the layer with it. Here. Make a new layer above it. Set it to Clipping Mask. Set it to Drawing Assist. Change the color here. Let's start with this dark blue one. Let's make the brush size here maybe now something different, maybe 5%. I'm going to add this size too. And we can add it here on top of his nose. Like that. Let's take the eraser and erase the top line. I'll make the bar size smaller again. 2%. Now let's make a new layer for the other color. Set it to clipping mask. Set it to Drawing Assist and take this light blue color. Let's take the brush and add it here. More in the middle, like that. Now we can erase this. So again, let's erase here the top line and here the bottom, like that. Let's make one more layer for the extra highlight. Again, set it to Drawing Assist, set it to Clipping Mask. Let's change the color here. For this highlight, I'm going to use this color. I'll make the bar size 1%. And I will just add it here, and then I'm going to erase it. Just to have here more like a line, like a stripe on his nose with the highlight. So like this. Now, because we are going to be making here many, many layers, you might run out of the layers at some point. So if you want to save layers, you can merge those layers with the colors on nose, for example, to make this one layer. 
I'll be keeping it separately as long as I can. We'll see what will happen later. So now let's make it one more layer for the nose. Set it to Drawing Assist. Set it to Clipping Mask. And let's change the color. Let's take here this purple one. And let's add it here at the bottom. Now on the same layer I'm going to use the other color, the lighter purple. And just add it here very gently. Now I can take the eraser and just erase here the bottom part of this. And a little bit here around, like that. So it's there but it's not too much. Now let's add some color to his mouth. So let's go here to this layer of the mouth, make a new layer above it. It is already set as clipping mask. And let's set here to drawing assist. Let's take here that dark purple color. And we can add this color here right behind his mouth, right behind his tongue, like that. And this will be enough. Let's take the eraser and we can just erase here, right here at the edge. So we kind of can have this outline here still going on. And I see I'll have to fix this shape. I'll do it in a moment. Now let's do the tongue. So let's go to the layer of it, make a new layer above it, set it to clipping mask. And let's make this also drawing assist. Let's take your first color, this one, and we can add it here at the bottom a little bit. And now I want to have here this line in, on his tongue. So for this I'm going to take the selection tool. And we can now just select here this left part of his tongue like that. And just color it now here. So take the brush and add it here like that. Let's tap here to finish. And it's okay that we came outside here, we'll fix it in a second. We can now add here still just a little bit on this side. But here if I want to stay in the shape, I can now go to the layers, tap on this tongue, tap here select, and now go back to that other layer with the color and just add it here like this. I can tap here on the selection to finish this. And I'll take the eraser and now just erase this here. Like that. And here. We can add here some lighter color now. Let's make a new layer for this. Set it to drawing assist. Set it to clipping mask. And take that lighter color here. Let's also select just this tongue. So let's go to the layers again. Tap on this layer of the tongue. Tap again. Pick select. Go back to the new layer. And just add it here. I'll add it like that. And I have here a lot to raise, but that's okay. So let's tap here to finish. Take the eraser. And let's erase this. So we can create here a highlight. Like this. Now I want this tongue to be still a bit darker in the corners. So for this, I'll make here a new layer on top of this. I'm going to set it to Clipping Mask. I'll change your blending mode to Multiply. And I'll change the color. I'll take this dark black color. And I'll change the brush here. I'll go to Airbrushing. And I'll take a soft brush and with a very small brush, 2%. I'm just going to darken this here like that. Over here. And here like that. I'll add it also here 
by this crease on his tongue, like that. And now I'll take the eraser to erase it in the places that it shouldn't be. So here. And like that. That's okay. And maybe actually I'll change the blending mode of this. Let me see how this would look with overlay. Maybe it'll be nicer. Yes, I think I like this more this way. I will just turn on the opacity of this. I'll make this 52%. So now before we move on to his face, let's still add here light on his body. We forgot to do that. So let's go to the layer with the colors on his body. This one with the layer with the purple colors. And let's take that purple color, this one, change the brush back to the stipple brush. Let's make the brush size here 20. And we can add it here in the middle like that. Now let's take that light purple color and add it here in the middle a little bit. And let's take the eraser now. So we can erase this here right under his neck, under his head, like that. And let's open the layers. Go to this layer with the blues. And we can add here a little bit of blue. This one. So let's add it here just a little bit. And this will be enough. I'm not going to add here that lighter color. Now as you can see, this body is coming outside of that red circle. We want it to be only on the red circle shape. So to do this, we can just go to the layer of the circle. We can tap on it and pick select. So now the circle is selected. We want to select the outside of the circle. So let's tap here to invert. And now with this selected, we can go to the layer with the body shape. This one. We can tap on it and pick here clear. So now this looks okay. Now let's add the shading to the face. We can start here with that mouthpiece. First I'm going to erase here that line on his chin. So I'll take the eraser and I will just fix this shape here. I'll make the brush size 1 and I'll just fix it. And also here I don't like this line. Okay. So now let's make a new layer above this. Set it to Drawing Assist. Set it to Clipping Mask. And let's pick the color. Let's take this one. Let's add it here at the bottom of his chin. Like that. And now let's make the bar size smaller. Let's make it 5%. And we can add it under his nose. Over here. Let's take the eraser now and let's erase it. Let's make the eraser bigger, 2%. And let's erase this here from the top of his face, like that. And then here above the mouth, if you came outside here like I did. And here around his cheek. Let's also erase this here along this edge. Let's make this darker here now right under his nose. So for this let's make a new layer. Set it to clipping mask. Set it to drawing assist. And let's change this here to multiply. And we can add it now here like this, again just under his nose. So let's take the eraser now and erase it from the top. We want this just to be under his nose here. Like that. We can turn down the opacity of this. 
let's make it 73%. So now let's make it one more layer for the lighter color. Let's set it to clipping mask, set it to drawing assist, and take the lighter color, this one. We'll add it here on his cheeks, like that, and also above his nose. And maybe a little bit here on top of his mouth. So now let's take the eraser and let's erase this here along the line here, along the edge. Let's make sure we didn't come here under the smile. Let's erase this here along this part. And here from under his nose. And let's add here some extra shine. Let's make a new layer. Set it to drawing assist. Set it to clipping mask. Change the color. Let's take this one. Let's make the bar size 1%. And just add here a line like that. And now we can erase this just to create here a highlight. Like that. Now let's focus on this part behind his eyes. So let's go to this layer over here. Let's make a new layer above it. Set it to clipping mask. Set it to drawing assist. And let's change the color. Let's start with this darker one. Let's make the brush size 20%. And we can add it here on the edges like that. And here between his eyes a little bit. Let's make the bar size now 1% and add it here around the eye, like that. Let's take the eraser now and let's erase this here right at the edge, like that. Also over here by the edge of the eye. And same on this side. Let's make a new layer now for the lighter color. Set it to drawing assist, set it to clipping mask, and take the lighter color. This one. Let's make the bar size 20% and add it here right between his eyes. And then over here too, like that. Now I'll make the bar size 1%. And I will add it more precisely here by his eyes. And also here. Now let's take the eraser. Let's erase this here around this edge. And by the eyes. Let's make this just a thin stripe here. And here we can erase this here from this shadow part. Now let's make a new layer for some highlight. Set it to clipping mask. Set it to drawing assist. Take that light color. And we can add it over here. And again, let's erase this. Let's just leave here a small highlight. Let's make it very, very light. So I'm also erasing on top of it very gently. Now 
Now we can color his eyes. So let's go to the layer of them. This one here. Make a new layer above it. Set it to clipping mask. Set it to drawing assist. And let's change the color. Let's take this one. Let's add it here on the right side and here on the left side at the bottom part. Now let's take the darker color, this one, and add it here more at the bottom and also on the right side. Let's take the eraser and erase this along the edge. I want those eyes to have some more shadow here, so for this let's make a new layer. Let's set it to drawing assist. Let's set it to clipping mask. And here we can take that purple color, this one. Let's keep the bar size very small and add it right here at the edge, very very little. I'm just going to erase here a few dots I don't like, over here. Okay. And now we can move on to his iris. So let's go to the layer here. Make a new layer above it. Set it to clipping mask. Set it to drawing assist. And we can start with that purple color that we have now. Let's take the brush. And let's add it over here like that. Take the eraser and erase this here along the edge. Now let's make a new layer. Again, set it to drawing assist, set it to clipping mask. Take that lighter purple color and just add it over here. We are going to erase most of this, so let's erase it like that. And now let's make a new layer to add that blue color. Set it to clipping mask, set it to drawing assist. And take that blue color here and add it on the left side. Let's erase this. Erase along the edge here. And here in the middle. I'll go back here still to that purple color and erase more in the middle. So first here. And now this one. Just a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to make here one more layer on top of that blue one. Set it to drawing assist. Set it to clipping mask. Change this to light blue color. And add it here, like that. And now erase this. I'll just leave here a very little bit of that blue color. Just like that. And now one more layer for the highlight. Again, set it to clipping mask, set it to drawing assist. And let's take here now this color. Let's make here a big splash of this white color like that. And we'll erase this now. And let's erase it the way so we just leave here a small oval shape. Like that. We can make this nicer by changing the blending mode of this to add. It 
So now the eyes are finished. Let's do his fingers. Go to the layer with them. Over here. Make a new layer above it. Set it to clipping mask. Set it to drawing assist. And let's take here that light gray color. Let's see which finger are those. These ones. Okay, so let's add it here by the edges, like that. Now on the same layer we can add the darker color, this one. And we'll add it right on the edge here. And here, and at the bottom. Let's take the eraser and just erase here along this edge. Now let's move on to this finger. So go to this layer here, make a new layer above it, set it to clipping mask, set it to drawing assist. Let's start with the light color. And we add it in the same way, so here along the edges. Like that. Now take the darker color. And add it closer to the edge. Like that. And here we can erase just this part, the end of it. Okay, and now this finger. Tap on this layer, make a new layer above it, set it to clipping mask, set it to drawing assist, take that light color first, and add it again just on the edges here. Now take the darker color and add it closer to the edge. Okay, and eraser. Let's erase here along this edge on the right side and here at the bottom. Okay, so now the whole Mickey Mouse is finished. We can still take care of the background. Before that, I'm just going to turn off this symmetry line. I don't want to see this anymore. We are almost finished. We can turn this off. So let's go to the layer of the circle and make a new layer above it. Let's set it to clipping mask. And let's pick the color now. First, we're going to add here this darker color. Let's make the brush size here bigger for this maybe 50% and let's add it here on the right side like that. Now let's take another color, this bright red one and add it now here on this side and let's take that yellow color now and we can add it here right on the edge like that to give a really nice contrast to this illustration. And now I want to have here one more circle, a little bit bigger than this one. So we can duplicate this layer of the circle. Swipe on it to the left and pick duplicate. Let's go to that new layer here now. And we are going to change the color of this. So let's tap on it and pick select. At the bottom let's pick color fill. And let's change the color. Let's take this one. So now this circle is in this color. We are going to make it a little bit bigger. Let's take the arrow tool and just extend this here like this. And let's move this so it will be in the middle of the canvas. Now I would like to drop the shadow from this whole illustration here. So for this, we want to have this whole illustration on one layer first. To do it, first we are going to turn off the background. So let's tap here and turn it off. Now we can swipe with the three fingers on the screen to get the menu and we can pick here copy all. Now let's swipe again and pick here paste. 
All of this now is on a new layer. We want this to be black, so let's tap on it and pick select. And now let's pick the color. Take this one. So it is black. Let's move this layer under that white circle over here. Let's bring back our background. And we are going to blur this. So let's go to the adjustments and pick your Gaussian blur. Swipe your pencil screen to the blur size. Let's make this maybe 11. And we can move this to the right side. So let's take the arrow tool and move this out a little bit. Like that. Let's tap here to finish. And now we can adjust the opacity of this. Let's turn it down a little bit. Let's make this 86%. And now this illustration is finished. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you can share your drawing with me on my Instagram. I would love to see it. And if you'd like to draw more of me, don't forget to check out my Patreon. Link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!